Viewers and subscribers, Sizzler in some serious problem with the LGBT. Also, bounty killer blast females who are call themselves Luxidal and are the surgery upon them body. And last but not least, the shooting of going in a May pen. I have a voice note from an eyewitness and I am telling the people, we just get to see where did that happen but the person did actually in the supermarket and I'm going to make only hear the voice note I can't trust me, it's wicked than what we did I see. Anyway, viewers and subscribers, but the first thing I'm going to talk about is gaze, put heat and sizzler. History is repeating itself for Sizzler Kalanji. For the second year in a row, he is under attack from a California gay rights group. The Sing J has been booted from this year reggae and the river lineup. Interestingly, he was the headliner for the 2016 staging. According to California newspaper Time Standard, Sizzler was dropped due to the history of homophobic slurs. High Times and the Redway based Matiel Community Center, which has hosted reggae on the river for the past 35 years, arrived at the decision after heavy backlash from the local lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Reggae on the River is an important community institution, said Sue Hilton, editor of the L Word newsletter, which supports the LGBTQ community in Humboldt County. Many of us really love the music and the lyrics are so often about the community and caring about each other but it is important for you to care about the whole community and not just the people you approve of, she continued. Hilton further stated that she is pleased with the organizer's choice for recognizing the importance of honoring everyone, supporting all of the community and resisting violence in all its form. Last year, the Matil Community Center canceled the artist July show due to pressure from the gay rights group. Twelve years ago, Sizzler, given name Miguel Collins, was among several artists who signed the Reggae Compassionate Act, which rejected homophobia and made a pact to drop all homophobic lyrics from their song. However, during a 2015 Rebel Salute interview, he described homosexuality as sodomy and corruption. Founder of the non-profit queer Humboldt, Todd Larson also expressed satisfaction with high times to make the right decision. It's good that they listened to the community feedback and took action, Larson said. Slated for August 2nd to 4th at French Camp in Garberville, California, Reggae on the River will feature Damian Jonah Gang Marley and Toots at the Metals. In recent years, gay rights group have revived their opposition to reggae acts who they consider hostile to their cause. In May 2014, Queen Ifrika was pulled as headliner of an event at Amazura Concert Hall in Queens, New York. Due to mounting pressure from the gay community, the day before the concert, a 200 strong group of protesters picketed the club. Organizers of that demonstration called for a halt of the show, which they said contributed to violence against lesbian, gays, bisexual, and transgenders. Other reggae acts, including Bujubantan and Capleton, had their performances cancelled and tour scheduled altered due to the pressure from the gay rights group advocates. Alright, viewers and subscribers, so the man them kick Sizzler off of the show based on what he said about the gay people. And I remember that interview the way him do. I don't remember who him did that do it with. I think it was um Winford Williams or one of them people. But Sizzler basically did that burn out the whole gay people and so forth. And that's how him feel. And people, I'm going to play a little piece of the interview where cause Sizzler for in the hot water right now. So you know, can see where everything has stemmed from. You understand? So check this out. With the girls and pressure. Man. Mm -hmm. No pressure thing for me. Eh? No, 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 go some man. We don't like homosexuals in Jamaica. And I'm going to get this straight for you. Please don't get it twisted. All right? That's sodomy. That's corruption. The Bible spoke about it. And we got a government that um, stands with the churches in Jamaica and the pastors. And they all read the Bible and it's being written in the Bible. And remember, now you got to be very careful. We stand and say the national anthem and the national pledge in Jamaica with a coat of arm with the man and the woman with the bow and around the bag with the fruits. So you can't go against the thing. Lightning and thunder. So it's not even the Prime Minister's duty for them duty to tell you. It's my duty to tell you that's on the stage. None of that. No raping, no picking, no stealing. I can invite you to all the foundation of the Rastaman 
foundation. So you can see the laws and principles of the Bible and the foundation. It is not right. So if you're going to have tourists coming here and visitors coming here and they want to spend money and invest in our country, it's not going to last if the country is being embedded with corruption. So you got to eradicate all those things. So no guy can pressure says that we are pressure them look for the money if you leave the place. It cannot work in Jamaica and I'm letting you know that straight. What I understand with these gay people and I don't know, me can never understand how LGBT stays so, and them basically want to bully you and tell you what to sing. Even though Sizzler did sign the whole thing where he can't say certain thing about gays and you understand but, but nevertheless I feel like say, the man them supposed to be free if you can express how them, how them feel and boy, one thing I can say you know, them LGBT people are certainly a take over everything. It's like them almost a control reggae right about now because you see it. All them have to do a demonstrate and bam, you get kicked out tight. Just the other day, them did a pressure Bojo Bantan right as him come out of prison. Bojo Bantan have to make a speech on that and see it right now. As them say in the article, history will repeat itself. Sizzler I get booted from certain events. Them did pull Queen Africa. And may I tell your viewers and subscribers, a whole heap of people are going to face hardship. Or a whole heap of reggae artists, I should I say, are going to face hardship if them ever try to say certain things about the gays. So with that shown, say, gays are basically in control of dance all right about now or reggae music. So, I can watch and see how this play out. We don't see Sizzler make no post about this or anything, but more than likely, he probably going to react to it or you don't know him going to probably make a speech about that. But what I say is, I think it happened with Sizzler from 2015, couple of years ago, Zine. So, I don't understand why they come up back with that. I just feel like, say, you see the LGBT, at times they are a set of troublemakers, and that is just my personal opinion. You understand? Right now, it almost seems like you can't even have an opinion against them people because they want to control everything and me now say a man for go out there and kill more than never inside violence on anyone whether you lean or you straight as long as what you're doing doesn't affect me my good you understand if you depend the fence or you depend the borderline or whatever as long as you're not around me you're not in my circle i'm cool with you I would have never try to set up anybody I would have never try to do nothing for you you understand for hurt anyone because i believe say everybody free to live them life as all them please everybody free to make the decision where they want and my almost sure say sizzler now nah, go sing a song and say yo when you go out there and go shoot them or kill them them just definitely want to pick up some of the dance hall artist them and that does how me feel anyway viewers and subscribers comment and make me know where anything about this zine sizzler get booted off of this show called reggae on the river you see me when i feel like history i repeat itself or when i feel like say you know them just a try pick pan sizzler and pick pan some of the artists them as me say i feel like as some of them them a pick pan who them definitely not like but me could watch and see how this play out but and sizzler just go and hold the feet and go and do your thing i hold it for people still rate you and respect you as a good artist you see it all right so no more want to talk about bounty killer so bounty killer burn out some of the women them who do surgery upon them body and I call themselves Luxy Dalan. You know the thing we around the place right about now. So Bounty Killer put up a post. Zin me have to blur it some So anyway, the caption said, since when did looking like a wisdom tooth from the waist down become sexy? And it have the laughing emoji. And in the caption, Bounty Killer said Come on females, this has got to stop now. God is looking down on us. He is not sleeping. This is pure judgment. Man, Dr. Miami and him colleagues, them want dead dogs. So, most I want to know Dr. Miami. Him are the man we do some of the most famous people in the world. You see me, the surgery upon them body and them man the responsible feet. So, you know, say a lot of females in a Jamaica, the surgery upon them body. Zine and Bounty Killer basically attack woman pan a hole so as long as you do surgery upon your body I you him talk to you see me all them dhq girl sure eh, and renee 630 yanni curvy diva miss kitty the whole of them a bounty killer basically I talk to them as well so when bounty killer put up this post here it get a whole heap of comments and thing it get over a thousand comments so one person said to bounty killer say i thought a woman's body was hers to do as she pleases bounty killer respond to this person and say a woman is free to do whatever she wishes to do with her body yes just like i am free to disapprove or agree 
And next person said to Bounty Killer, say, Natural beauty is where it's at. Shape my head. This is so unnatural. Bounty Killer respond to this girl and say, If it's not natural, then it's not beauty. It only appears to be. And next person say, Some men like this type of mess. So Bounty respond again and say, Some men don't even like themselves. The reason why they like those type of women. And one more comment. And next person say, Uno as man cause this. Not all, but no for uno. So Bounty Killer respond to that person and say, No uno thing round here. I am a singular, not a plural to each his own. But none of my ex-baby mother or current woman does none of that. The most was done is a little breast enhancement, but no deformed looking shit. Hell no, so Bounty Killer basically respond to the people them where have certain things to say. So Bounty make making know say none of him baby mother them can't do none of them thing. They understand the most them do is a little breast enhancement. And viewers and subscribers, more and if you not agree with what Bounty Killer say, the females them get out of hand with this whole heap surgery thing. Because you don't know say a whole heap man like females where um you just say no we enhance them body in some way the whole heap fake booty thing will run the place right now cause we see it even at take over jamaica as a matter of fact you don't even have to go america right now if you get your body done you can have some little places where they bought where do the surgery you understand i mean i know if it do as well as dr miami because me can tell you straight up say dr miami a a1 and it costs a whole heap of money which not everybody can afford it but nevertheless fake is fake so whether dr miami do it or dr New New York or Dr. San Francisco on a still fake at the end of the day and that's where Bounty Killer basically I say about viewers and subscribers on agree with where the persons they must say to Bounty Killer say a woman free for do what she want to do with her body or on a feel like say the females them nowadays must take pride in a themselves and thus work natural you know a lot of girls are flat bottom and people might laugh off of them and you know say that kind of give them low self-esteem so i guess them want to go out there to make whole a man look on them because you know the more curvy a woman is and the more attention they might go get so at the end of the day it's all about attention and it's all about girl we can make the most man head turn you understand a woman love when she a walk and every man a look on her so i feel like say attention and most of them must agree with me say attention woman want why them go out there and go put on fake um enhancement on them body but viewers and subscribers more want to comment and tell me if you don't agree with everything with bounty killer say you see me and also the person where i say some of the man them cause woman for go do them thing there we don't agree with that girl then none at all because man can't cause a woman for go out they go do that woman them just have low self-esteem and at that cause them for go out they go do that so i don't feel like say that woman if you blame things for a man no man zine can cause a woman to go out they go do that as she definitely does want to do it for try impress her friends or try make whole heap man look upon her but anyway comment and make me know where anything about bounty killer or rant upon the female them who go out there and I do certain things to them body and I make it clear say fem woman can do that and none of him baby mother them no believe in them something there anyway viewers and subscribers last but not least you know the famous shooting we're going down in a mapping and the gunman them um kidnap the chinese people them zin right now me say the police them dip on the hunt you see it and i don't really know if them are gonna find them money because we know how jamaican police system stay and jamaica is not a place where have a whole heap of camera where them can go look back on certain things even though in the supermarket it did or the wholesale or whatever and you know say them chinese people are always have camera so maybe that might help but so far we not really get much details on this whole um shooting we're going on and the kidnapping we don't know if the chinese people them dead or if them alive you understand me say viewers and subscribers and me feel like say them probably dead reason being this happened like two days now or three days now zine and if the chinese person did alive me know them would have got to the police station and would have hear say Chinese person who um, was kidnapped by the gunman them speak out or whatever so oh we not hear that right now it not look good for the Chinese people them anyway viewers and subscribers a person who was in the supermarket at the time of this whole shooting and everything I'm going to play the voice notes on the can hear where I say I'm going to tell your viewers and subscribers them gunman ya come prepare trust me when you listen to voice note you're going to know them Jamaican gunman ya now play them man ya watch holy 
whole pa action movie channel and whole pa stars and all them type of thing there because trust me I only movie alone yes man I come for clip I say yo show me some more magazine make me go out they go empty it when you hear the voice note when I go see what me and talk about zine Anyway, viewers and subscribers, just remember to like, share, and leave on a comment on all of this. I'm going to leave the voice note at the end so you can just leave an opinion on this zine. So, have a blessed day. One love. I'm a chat. I'm going to get a run down. Where you go? All right, I, I dropped my mom at church. Um, well, synopsis support. Let me. Where I dropped my, my mom, I passed a policeman on the corner giving a ticket right near where them call Guinea Tree. So when I dropped mom, and this is about five to nine, when I left the the first supermarket I met, I decided to just stop and grab some stuff. So I'm going to the supermarket, pick up the thing that we need, reach a cashier, and as I pay, when I pay the man, I take the receipt as usual, I'm look through my receipt. When I turn on to take up the thing, now my vehicle was parked right at the doorway, exactly in front of the doorway. So as me, I'm looking at my vehicle from the cash register. So me take up the thing them for to the machine. Three man walk in first. Um, two sixteen pump rifle. Them say nobody move. So right away, I just put on back everything right beside the cash register. I'm gonna stand up there, hold me on them to the side. So them say search him, cause I'm the closest one to the door. Search. Well, them do search him. Just pat my waist, and them say you go over there. So somebody just step one side. Them the one clearing at the supermarket, move everybody to the front, and then them side, lie down on the ground. No, it's not the safest position when you not shoot away. Anyway, lie down, cause shooting never started. And then them turn to the Chinese people them and say, all right, the money will come from where the money is. Um, China man, them are pulling the register, and them say, no, we don't want the money there. Or the chase we want. But about this time, it's out like about two minutes in, the first shot fire. Um, look like the policeman who passed by the corner may have seen what has happening and him come on. So shooting start. But I will tell you sir, when the shooting start, two men go outside. Um, I think them two men did one that have AK and one have a sixteen. Them go outside and then start fire. There is some man in still inside a surgery supermarket, a beat up the Chinese people them. Tell them say they want the money, Chinese people them about nah, no money, nah, no money, nah, no money. So one of the men them up said, Lady. I pussy, I did you want that? We said, forget the money. Them time, uh, full scale shot a bus. See me, I mean, I tell you, shot basically a bus over my head. Spinchella drop around me. Um, I'm gonna go back and forth, in and out. See me, while about three more go outside, so about five of them, they're on the outside now, fire the police them. Three inside, still with the, with, with the, with the, with the Chinese people, them still ask some money. The man them not under no rush no none of them don't panic. No man no panic. One man run coming back and say, Yo, give me an extra magazine eh? and go back outside again and steal a fire. And I'm gonna tell you say, and I'm not exaggerating, ten to fifteen minutes of sustained fire. The man them have a fire at the police them, the whole place shoot up. See me so when them done and look like them finally get something from the Chinese car and one for me later, so I money over this after she get some leak. Cause when them say them are gonna kill her. I mean I talk about this is long after you know. When them say okay, ready now, moving, grab the China them and then grab the China man and them use them to go through the door and go outside and go in. Um when me get up and me come outside, me realize say three car get shot up. My car get only a little graze. Well not graze. Look like one shot come because the shot them come from the left of my car. Can me park right at the door? Um police them was to the left at the corner. So it looked like a shot may have come through to the car them and just hit my door, get dented and the PNP laugh. Um when I came out there was nowhere you could step outside that it wasn't stepping on a spin shell. It was that serious. Alright, um my walk on me check make sure everything alright. Check for say nobody in there got shot. I'm jumping on my car and my and me leave because I don't want it when the yellow tape come.